Okay, so now um, I had an issue with Sultan's paint that kind of um, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't actually crash, but my RAM is just too low to undo to undo what I'm working on around 2K resolution. So I put this on 1K resolution, and hoping it should work correctly now. So as you can see, it's kind of running smoothly. So if your system can undo 2K resolution, please please carry on. You don't need to do you don't, you don't need to take this down to around 1K resolution. So let me bring back my reference image in here. Put this in here. So on my undo point layer, I need to I need to uh, let's see. Now if I, if I let's, let's let my marks now and then I now please don't do not add do not, you, don't, you don't need to add any paint layer down here. You don't add any paint layer down here. Or if you want to, you can maybe you want to. Maybe you want to work on some of this and you want to erase some part of this greenish stuff you have in here. You can do that. Okay, maybe we should just do that instead. So, um, on this I'm going to add a paint layer. I'm going to add a paint layer in here. Paint layer, paint layer in here. So now I can erase some of this. You can see I can erase that. Let's, let's use a more interesting brush for this. You see, I have a lot of control over this, so I go to my brushes. Go to my brushes. Funny how, funny how they they're not arranged alph alphabetically. So I go to my brushes and then I'll choose my dead brush. Just need dead brush for this. Maybe this should work just fine. I'll reduce this. Then I can begin to erase some. I can begin to erase some of this, as you can see. I'm erasing some. I'm erasing this in some areas. Let me turn this off. off turn this off. So back in here, I'm going to. Let me start erasing. Okay. Let me can start erasing some of this. Erasing some of this. Now, now I'm having an issue here because of my because of the ambient occlusion I baked in here. So if I go to texture set and I select this, if I should go to um, yeah, go come in here. If I should remove this okay let me undo that uh let me sell let me select let me select the handle instead if i should remove this yeah i should have something like this should have something like this i can always rebig that later on but for now, I don't need that because it's kind of making things looks look funky here, yeah. look really weird in here. So I'm um, carrying on. Go back to my layers. Go back to my layers. I'll come in here. Go back to select my paints. Select my paints. Now I can begin to work more in here. Erase. Raise some of this as much as much as as much as I want to. Okay. Can you raise some of this in here? So you still you still have a lot of control over this. You have a lot of control over this. But for now, I think this is fine. This is fine for now. So closing this now, I can also erase. Selecting my marks, I can erase all this if I want to. But I will need a new layer down in, on, underneath this, so I can add, so I can erase some of these portions down here. So how how do I go about doing that? I will just maybe I should use my under my materials. I'll type in metal. I'll look for something really nice. Which I can see my preview on this. 
seeing a preview will be really nice okay I'm having a preview here I'm looking for something that would I really sell this can okay, let me hide this let me just let me just do iron grind let me just drag something in here like so so I'm having something like this now this this is not bad at all maybe I'll just make this a bit rough maybe something like this should be fine and I can turn this back on I'll go in here with my brush okay I will need to let me use add marks with color selection I'll just pick this I'll pick this also so just those two so back in here I can begin to erase let me start from here I can begin to I think I'm um, okay let me see let me look for the brush that will work best for this um uh, okay I need let me undo this oops let me undo um I'm supposed to um let me key clear marks clear marks I go to poly fill again and select mesh fill and select this okay go back in here that's better so I'm supposed to have this on a black brush so so I have a black brush using a black brush to my brush settings so I have this on a black brush something seems to be wrong for my brush settings Um. So um, welcome back, welcome back, guys. There was, there was another issue with Zebra. It's sometimes paint. I think maybe it's a bug or something. So remember when I clicked on my paints layer, I couldn't find my, I could, I couldn't find my, uh, what's it called? I couldn't find my brush properties completely anymore I couldn't find this particular option in here you don't show me a, a graded just a graded version of what I was actually looking for but I, I actually want that I actually want to actually actually want to put this on black so now that it's on black it should, it should work it should work correctly so I have to restart and um, sometimes paint and bring back the file for me to have this option back in here so in case you're, you're having this kind of weird, weird issue just restart sometimes paint and then bring back your file you should have, have, have everything here working correctly so with this iron grounded, you can see this adding so much another extra layer of detail in here. As you can see this scratches in here, and another extra layer of detail there. But what I actually want to do is to erase some of this down here. So on my on my steel, let me name this steel steel top steel top on that paint layer paint layer we added in here. Now we can erase some of this down here. So if I should go somewhere like something like this you can see now i can see that layer i can see that layer of iron green right through this as you can see but i don't want that let me let me bring this back let me bring this back bring this back then i would use i'm using a dead brush now the dead brush then I can now go in here and begin to erase regions like this. 
videos like this I want to kind of see uh, you know a normal knife that has been used for a, real, uh, for a very long time should have something like this down here since I've been used over time, yes, yet the down part still retains that that um, original, almost original, almost original metal look. So I'm trying to fake something like that in here. I can even use a, I can even use a different brush. I can use my scratches brush. Should have some scratches brush in here. Some scratches brush. Uh, Scratches for looks this scratch this one looks fine. I'm just going there and begin to okay. Now that's that's too much. Maybe you can adjust some of the settings. The flow. Oh, oh that's the size. My bad. That's the size. Something like this should be fine. Spacing. Make this closer. Bring this closer. Then I can just go right in and then dig into this. Go right in and dig into this. So around somewhere like here, I can just that seems a bit too much. Let me add, put this around here. Okay, I think it's much better now. I can just erase some of this, some of this down here. Okay, I can go back to my limit. Let's try this. Too big, take this down. And it is okay. That's that seems fine. Okay, that's giving us a much better result. Maybe we should have some more in here. Maybe some more in here. Okay. Now that, that's giving us some good results. So you can see, not bad at all. Okay. And now we need to do this, the exact same thing for the other, for the other side. We can't. This place shouldn't be left out. So, same here also. Let me just rotate the lights. Holding shift and rotate the lights. Then do something similar in here also. Get this to look really good on both sides. Okay, this takes a lot of work, but still fine. Just clean clearing this. Okay. We're almost there. Uh, not bad at all. This looks good. We will do some more in here. Okay. Go out and check this from a further view. Okay, that seems fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll go around this. Bring back my lights to this front view. So now we can start adding some variations of stuff in here. Maybe since why? Let me do a quick save. Let me do a quick save. Let me make sure all this is saved so there isn't any issue when I'm trying to bring this file back. So do a quick save as save now. Okay.
so now I can see some I can see some rust in here. I can see some rust in here. So let's let's get that rust in there. Just checking this to see if it's working correctly. No, I don't have a clean line like this. It looks too clean in there. Maybe I'll do a bit more. I'll do a bit more in here. Do a bit more in here. Okay. That's fine. Do a quick save. So now I need to add some rust. So we should have some rust material in there. Then we kind of use some <coughs> metal. Some metal um, edge wear for that. Okay. Now it just depends on, on how, we, how we want to deal with this. So let me. So on top of this, let me go to my. I believe. Under materials, let me do a search for rust. So now we have two of these. Trying to figure out which one will work best. Rust fine. Let's drag this on top like so. Okay. Then I will do. Let me uh, try to figure out what to do in here. I will do a. Okay. Let me just add. Okay. Yes. Let me. Going here, adding a generator. Close this. Need to add the black marks first. Adding a generator. Use um metal edge wear. Now this one looks a bit too intense. I'll group this. Okay, add this in a folder. Control G to add to the folder. On this folder, I'll add the black marks. I'll go to my mesh mesh view. I'll select only this. I'll go back in here. I'm trying to figure out. This looks good, but it's a bit too intense. Oops. This back on normal, go in here. We are level. I'll take this down. Take this down like so. Grunge, grudge them out. Fabric of that stuff is gross kill. Um, ambient maxing, edge smoothing. We had a bit of edge smoothing, ambient maxing. Oh, there's an issue here. We're supposed to have an amb our ambient map in here. So, this may not work correctly if we don't have our ambient map in here. So, let me go back and quickly bake. Quickly bake in my ambient occlusion map. I'm going to use uh, only self name, then bake. So I'll give. I'll come back when this when this is done baking. Ah, uh, is it baking on my maps again? Baking on my maps again. So I kind of cancel that. So I only want. I only want to bake my ambient occlusion map. So. Non turn on ambience. Okay, then bake. So I'm baking only my ambient occlusion map. So it's done baking. Let me close this. I'll delete this and I'll add this again. Okay, I'll take this value down. Increase this like so. Add some smoothness. 
Uh, this is this isn't really doing much there as we thought it should. Overture weights. Okay. Then now I can I can blend this back in. I can blend this back in. Okay, so um okay, now I need to I need to blow this. It looks too intense. Maybe probably this is even this is even the wrong one to use. Maybe this one this one would have been a better option. But anyways, let's leave it as it is. So I would let me take this back up. Then I'll, I'll add a filter. I'll add a blow. Blow this back. Okay, that's too much. And make this blend back in. Okay. Then I can add a paint layer in here. Add a paint layer. Go to my brush. I can use a dead brush now. A dead brush. A better. Put this. Switch. Use X to switch this. Now I can erase. Can read some of this. Can read some of this. Uh, let me let me use it around this tone. Just read some of this. Change my light source. Now you can see the the. Um, the goodness of this or the quality of this my texture because I'm working on 2k resolution that's why uh, when we increase this to when, when, when we're rendering some at 4k it, it should we should have a better quality but if you can run on if your system can run this on system can run this on 2k that's fine you can just carry on with the 2k resolution for now my system is on 8 grams so it's having issues running on 2k resolution so there's still like two more things we need to do in here yeah i believe so just two just two more just two more stuff we need to do in here to make this look to make this look really good so i will go let me collapse this i believe yeah, see, you can see this dirt, this dark dirt in here. I'll go, I'll go in here. I'll select. I'll select this guy. Control C. Control C. I would then I will go. Um, yes, on top of this, Control V to paste this in here. Then I would clear my marks. Uh, yes, should I? Okay, I'll clear my marks. Mm, then I would, yes, okay. okay. Let me let me remove this marks. Let me remove this marks. Let me remove marks for now. Do I have okay? Uh, maybe. Is better if I have this directly on top of this. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me put them put this back in here. Then in here I'm going to I'm going to let's see. Let me take this up a bit. Okay. So I'm going to make this darker than it is. So I'm kind of make this around around the edge be fine. Around the edge be fine. You know, I'll use that same my smart marks. I'll use that same dead dry. Maybe something even different. Maybe something even different. I think there was one I use. Let me do. Let me do another search for dead. Okay.
you should be looking for a particular should be a particular one that should work best for this um I think the better option is just to pin this pins this way I want them to be. So okay, on full white. Nope. Wow. I think I'll just pin this pin this way I want them to be. So with my with my dirt brush, type in dirt brush be using this take this down so now I can manually manually paint this where I want this to be but use a bigger brush yes you can see something like something like this should be fine so painting this where I want this to be maybe yeah, around here should be fine also. Maybe some more around here. Just few parties on some areas. I'll do the same thing on the, on the other side. Switch, switch my lights. Then paint this regions where I want this to be. Get a closer view in here. Even on these crevices, I can paint some of this here. Maybe in here also. It's not, it's not completely necessary, you can add this if you want to. Maybe I should do some maybe I should do some more in my front view. The bigger brush. Have some dripping in here. Okay. Can switch this back to black and then erase. Erase some of this if I feel this is too much. We can put this around here and erase some of those. Okay, so now I can just blend this back in. Be somewhere like this should be fine. Okay. So now we can just leave we can leave this as it is. I'll do a quick save. Do a quick save. If you still want to work on this, you can always go back in here and do some work on this. But I think this is fine for now. It's fine, this is fine for now. So I'll just do a quick save and then we'll just export export this out. Maybe I should tune this down and add some more on top of this. Then put this back to white. Paint some more in this region up here. Okay. I think let me bring this back. Should be 
somewhere around here keeping this more around here okay I'll do a quick save again then now we can just ex export this out we can do and we can do our export now so to do your export all you have to do is to go to file then export textures choose your location now i'll put this on no padding then choose the particular resolution i'll be exporting at 4k resolution then you can just do your export down here